The second control of the information security continuity category is called implementing information security continuity. The plan that the organization has put in place to ensure continuity of its information system security should be implemented, and this implementation is achieved by establishing and maintaining the required processes and procedures. Before defining the processes and procedures, the organization should ensure that it has enough and adequate resources to perform those activities. Those personnel should have enough experience and authority to detect and respond to security incidents and events. Documented response and recovery procedures should be constantly reviewed and tested. Based on the established information security requirements for business continuity, the defined processes should be designed to maintain the existing information security controls during a disaster, and if not possible, then define compensating controls that would limit the effects of an adverse situation. All related information to the business continuity and disaster recovery of the organization, including the defined processes procedures and controls, should be secured and protected. This is very important in case the adverse situation is a malicious attack, where the attackers should not be able to know the disaster recovery plans, or they would be able to cause much more damage.